America's at war. The enemy, illicit drugs. Drugs that once on our streets, control and kill. During the last three decades, Americans have acquired a lethal taste for a wide spectrum of narcotics. Marijuana, LSD, and heroin have all enjoyed periods of popularity. But their attraction fades in the light of the new drug of choice, cocaine and its derivatives. The United States is the world's largest consumer of cocaine and the most profitable client for the drug's producers. Because the U.S. is also the world's largest importer of the narcotic, delivering cocaine to American consumers involves an entire transportation industry. This industry is technically involved, amply financed, and methodically managed, employing clandestine sea, air, and ground operations that can effectively penetrate U.S. borders. Federal, state, and local government agencies across the United States are struggling with the American drug habit in several ways, ranging from drug education at home to eradication and crop substitution in source countries. The war ranges on day after day, and the U.S. Customs Service Office of Aviation Operations is in the thick of it. As a participant in this war, the air wing disrupts and disables the air transportation system used to deliver contraband to the United States. But the war isn't a new one for these Sky Warriors. They've been flying the front lines day after day since Congress authorized the establishment of the Customs Air Interdiction Program in the late 1960s to combat narcotic smuggling along the southern border. In the beginning, Customs acquired an assortment of light aircraft. Fortunately, its arsenal has grown in size, sophistication, and capability to fight the American appetite for narcotics, particularly those derived from the South American coca leaf. The air wing battle plan focuses on interdiction, that is the process of inhibiting or destroying the adversary's ability to move forces or supplies. However, before the full impact of customs interdiction efforts can be appreciated, one must first understand how smugglers operate.